question says, if 100 milliliters of 0.25 molar HPR is titrated with 0.15 molar KOH, answer the following questions. So for A, it says, what is the pH of the solution before the titration begins? Well, since HBR is a strong acid, the concentration of HBR is going to be equal to the concentration of H3O+. Said another way, the HBR completely ionizes the water, so it completely reacts with the water. It's not a reversible reaction. So these two concentrations are equal. So the pH is going to be the negative log of the concentration of H3O+. But since the concentration of HBR equals the concentration of H3O+, the pH is going to be equal to the negative log of the 0 0.250 molar, which is 0 0.602 for the pH before the titration begins. So part B asks, how many milliliters of NaOH must be added to reach the equivalence point? So this is basically a general chemistry question. So a general chemistry one question. So we have NaOH um, reacting with the, um, this should say KOH. How many milliliters of KOH must be added to reach the equivalence point? So we have KOH reacting with HBr um, as shown here. So we know the concentration of the KOH. We know that we have 100 milliliters of the HBr. So what we want to do is we want to convert from liters of HBr to moles of HBr. Once we have moles of HBr, we can convert it to moles of KOH, and then we can take those moles of KOH um, and we can convert them to liters of KOH, which we can then convert to milliliters of KOH. So we know that we had 100 milliliters of the HBr, which is 0 0.100 liters of this HBr solution. We also know that the concentration is 0.25 moles per liter. So we put one liter of HBr on the bottom and the 0 0.250 moles of HBr on the top times, we now use the balanced chemical equation to convert from HBr to KOH. So we put um, one mole of HBr on the bottom to get it to cancel out and one mole of KOH on the top times. Now we want to convert to liters of KOH. Well, we know that the KOH is 0 0.150 molar, which means that there's 0 0.150 moles of KOH in one liter of this solution. And when you do that math, you find that there's 0 0.167 liters or 167 milliliters required in order to do this titration. So part C says, what is the pH of this solution at the equivalence point? Well, in this case, we have a strong acid reacting with a strong base. So when you have a strong acid reacting with a strong base, the pH at the equivalence point will be neutral. Said another way, in this case, the solution will just be a KBR solution, which is neutral. Now it says, what is the pH of the solution when 30 milliliters of KOH has been added? Now this becomes um, challenging, all right? So this is a quite challenging problem. So before we do this, we know that we have 100 milliliters of 0 0.250 molar HBr. And we know that we titrated it with 30 milliliters of 0 0.150 molar K. OH. So these, this information, so I can pull the paper down, is what we know. So what we're trying to figure out is what is the pH of the solution at this point? Now, there's lots of ways to do this, okay? We could use C1V1 equals C2V2 to find the concentration of these two things in the solution and then subtract out. Um, or we could find the moles and then convert them back to concentrations. Either way, um, it doesn't really matter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the moles of HBr. And in the next example where we use a strong acid and a, and a, um, excuse me, a weak base and a strong acid, I'm going to do it the other way. All right, so you can kind of see both ways. So in this case, we have moles of HBr. So what we want to do is take the 0 0.100, I think this is actually zero, liters of this solution times for every liter, there's 0 0.250 moles, which means that there's 
0 0.0250 moles of HPR. I also want to find the moles of the KOH, which is going to be this times this, which is 0 0.0300 liters times for every one liter of the um, KOH solution, there's 0 0.150 moles of KOH, which gives us a total of 0 0.00450 moles of KOH. So not surprisingly, we are before the um, we are before the uh, equivalence point, right? Because the equivalence point is we figured out before 167 milliliters. We've only added um, 30 milliliters, so we have much less KOH than we have HBr. Well, all of these moles of KOH are going to react with the HBr to form water and KBr. Said another way, the moles of HBr that we're going to have left over is going to be 0 0.0250 moles of HBr to begin with, minus 0 0.00450 moles of KOH that are used up. And when we do that, we're going to have 0 0.0205 moles of HBr left over. But remember, to find the pH, which is the negative log of the concentration of H3O+, plus, which will be the concentration of HBr, we need to find the concentration of HBr, not just the moles of HBr. Said another way, we need to divide this by the total volume to find the concentration. Well, what's the total volume? We had 100 milliliters and 30 milliliters, which is 0 0.1300, or maybe just one zero, liters. Okay, so um, 130 milliliters total, 100 of the um, HBr that we started with, plus the 30 of this that we added. So we're going to divide by that. And when we do that, we find that this is 0 0.158 molar HBr. Now we can do pH equals the negative log of the concentration of H3O+. Plus. Remember, since this is a strong acid, this is the concentration of H3O+, plus, which is 0 0.158, which means that the um, pH at this point is 0 0.802. So it went up slightly. It started off at 0 0.602. Now it's up to 0 0.802. That's not surprising because we added base. Also, the pH changed very little because we have a strong acid, strong base, so the pH stays pretty low, then it shoots up, and it'll go up to the higher value. So E is very similar to D, if you haven't already watched D. It says, what is the pH of the solution when 180 milliliters of KOH has been added? So if we go back to D for a second, in D... We had 100 milliliters of the 0.25 molar HBr, which we still have an E because this is how much HBr we started with. So we are still starting with 0 0.0250 moles of HBr because that's what we originally started with the titration. But this time, we had 180 milliliters of KOH. Note that now we're past the equivalence point. We found the volume of the equivalence point already. So now we're past the equivalence point. So now we need to figure out how many moles of KOH are present with 180 milliliters. Remember, it's still 0 0.150, 0 0.150 molar KOH. So we take our 0 0.1800 liters times 0 0.150 moles per one liter, and we find that the moles here is 0 0.0270 moles of KOH. Note that that's more than the HBr. So since these things have a one-to-one -one reaction, we're actually going to have some KOH left over. Specifically, we're going to have 0 0.0270 moles of KOH minus 0 0.0250 moles of HBr, which is 0 0.0020 moles of KOH left over. Now, KOH is a strong 
base. So the concentration of KOH will equal the concentration of hydroxide. So in another way, we can find the POH. But remember, this is moles. This is not a concentration. So we need to do the total volume. If you'll recall, there was 100 milliliters of this HBr solution to begin with. Plus, we added another 180 milliliters of the KOH, which means our total volume is 280 milliliters. So we divide this by 0 0.280 liters. When we do this math, we find that the uh, KOH is 0 0.00714 molar KOH. So this is basically what we have. Now, when we want to find the pH of this, we actually want to find the pOH first, which is equal to the negative log of the concentration of OH minus, because this is a strong base, the KOH concentration and the OH minus concentration are the same. So this is the minus log of 0 0.00714 molar, which is 2.14. The pH equals 14 minus the pOH, so in this case, the pH equals 14 minus 2.14, which is 11.85 or 11.86, depending on how many digit, uh, digits you use here. So this is the pH of the solution. So essentially what happened here, if we look at the pH versus the volume of KOH that's been added, the pH starts low, stays low, shoots up, where the equivalence point is 7. And now that we're above this, it starts to level off again as we add more base. So the pH stays low as we start to add KOH. It shoots up around 7, and then it levels off. This is not very well drawn um, as far as the shape of these curves, but you get the general idea of how the pH changes in a strong acid and strong base titration.